competing this year was really, it was really hard, really difficult. We had so many locations, so many different waves, a lot of big waves, which is really good. And everyone is ripping so hard and so hard to, to beat those people. And it was really incredible to be a part of the tour this year. And I uh, can't wait to see how it's going to be in the future. But for sure, that was the best tour we ever had. And I can't believe I came out the top of this one. Mainly just a, a spectator's position that I was, the tour looked incredible. I watched every comp over the net at home and I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I was just up till three in the morning just frothing out on it. I just love guys really going for it in the big waves. Especially Tamiga's win at um, in Eureka just showed how mental that guy was and <laughs> how, much, how much he wants. He just wants it more than anyone to do that roll on, on dry rock. My event highlights were Chile obviously coming second up against Tamiga and get the ball rolling for me into a better position than I was. And I mean, we had the best waves this year on tour than we have any other year, so uh, next year is just going to be mental. I guess one place that really stuck out for me was Mexico this year. I wasn't aware of how powerful that, that beach can be. To have a beach break like really kind of rattle you like that is uh, something, something that you don't really experience around the world too much. Looking back on it, the most memorable moment was uh, probably winning at Pipe at home with my family, my friends, everyone watching the beginning of the year, starting off the tour and winning there, just, you know, winning a pipeline is like winning a world title to me because it's at home, it's, you get your name on that board, it's just so special, you know, it's most probably special feeling, you know, that's what I grew up dreaming of as a kid, is winning out there and so, the win there was just awesome. <laughs> 